We'll have the foodstuffs aboard by noon, Brandon. Then I'll be able to pull anchor out of Vancouver before sundown. That's right, Captain. Them Chinese sailormen of mine are better out of sight of land. Have a couple of boxes of those stogies. You can take ashore. Find smokes. <laughs> we have. It was found in the grip of Dr. Lem Yet Sen. Ever seen one like this before, Mr. Commissioner? Yes, twice during the past two months it's turned up after mysterious deaths. See here. I got this in the mail this morning. Now there's something unearthly about this. Dr. Sen, you know, was waging a bitter fight against the drug traffic. That was his misfortune. Now you're going on this case, Dover Scott. And you're going to bump into something unhealthy. Something which won't stop it murder if necessary. But we've got to track it down. And the case that you think fit. And remember, the entire department is behind you. Very good, sir. Dan, how are you? See, you've got a new addition to your store. Well, how's business? Business is like a warm flower-laden breeze in wintertime. There is no such thing. Ah, they should give you, gentlemen of the police, the task of uncovering business and not unmasking criminals. The world would profit more greatly then. Not a bad idea, Chang. See here, what do you make of this? I only know that this symbol holds the secret of the most mysterious of all the yogi murder. Meaning what? Meaning that one... Well, if you come across one of these things, you hold on to it for me, eh? It shall be yours, sir, with my compliments. Thank you.
Just a minute. <laughs> this is one time you won't get away before I speak to you. No, no. We mustn't be seen talking. If we were caught, it would mean the end of everything for both of us. But why? I don't understand. You're a white girl. What are you doing on a plate this? Now look here, I've been in here from time to time just trying to get a chance to talk to you, and you've always avoided me. I finally got to speak to her today. Oh, that's a blessing. What is she, a blonde or a brunette? Yes, and she's got beautiful eyes. Oh, my dear fellow, you're not well. Now, come no, on. No, but this is serious, Don. I'm telling you about it. Now, here, this is serious, Don. Sit down there and tell me the story. Well, in the first place, Don, she's the most gorgeous girl you ever looked at. Yes, I've heard that before. You know, I met her in a curio shop. Mm -hmm. And today, while I was talking to her, she said the most peculiar thing. She said that if we were seen talking together, that something terrible would happen to both of us. Oh? And not only that, but all the while, she seemed to be gazing past me, looking some, uh, something behind me. So I turned to see, and when I turned back, she was gone, disappeared. Mm. And not only that, I leaned over the counter to see if she was hiding, and as I did that, zoom, a knife right by my face. I do. Now, you're a great detective. What do you make of it? Bob, take my advice. I know these Orientals. But this girl's white. Well, that doesn't matter. She's evidently mixed up with them. You're playing with fire. My advice is, Keep out of this. <laughs> well, I don't care what you say, Dawn. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I'm in love with this girl. All right, but whatever you do, keep... I thought perhaps you might know something about this disc. Of course, I run across all kinds of signs and symbols in my business. But this... Uh, something entirely new to me. Any idea what it might mean? Sorry I can't help you, Dovis, boy. Well, thanks anyhow. Goodbye. Bye. 